Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a load balancer using Nginx on AWS. So, click the link in the description box to come to this particular marketplace listing and from here you want to click on continue to subscribe. After that, from this page you need to accept the terms so simply click on accept terms and then you would have to wait for your subscription to validate. After your subscription has validated, you want to click on continue to configuration. Basically, you want to set up a new EC2 virtual machine. So, from this page, choose the AMI software version and the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. And when satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. And then you can choose to launch the virtual machine from either the website or from the EC2 management console. So, I'm going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now, it should open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. And from here, you can customize your virtual machine. You can give it a name. I'm going to call it load balancer. Scroll down and make sure that the image is Nginx Ubuntu 20.04. Scroll down even more, choose the instance type, choose the key pair required for login. You can create a new pair or you can use an already existing one. So I'm going to use an already existing one. Scroll down, choose the setting that you want and when satisfied, simply click on launch instance. Now this should deploy the instance on the region that you have selected. Once that is done, simply click on view all instances. And in here you can see that your newly created virtual machine is still in the pending state. So wait for a little while for it to change its state to running. And when in running state, you want to connect to it using the SSL terminal. So click on it, right click, click on connect and copy this command, open up a new command prompt or a PowerShell, paste this command and replace the path between the quotation marks with a path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when prompted, type in yes. Now this should allow you to connect to your virtual machine using the SSL terminal. So now, what you want to do is that you want to write a configuration file for Nginx. So for that, we need to move inside the directory of Nginx and the command for that is cd forward slash etc forward slash Nginx and hit enter. And in here, you can type the ls command to show all the directories because you want to head inside the directory which is the configuration.d. So type in the command cd c or nf.d. Now in here, you want to create a new configuration file for your load balancer. So the command for that is sudo nano and then the name of the file that you want to give to your configuration file. So I'm going to call it load balancer dot conf and hit enter. Now in this configuration file, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to create a keyword of server, a couple of curly brackets and in here you want to listen to every request that is coming on the port number 80. And after that, you want to give the IP address or the URL of your virtual machine. For that, use the keyword server underscore name followed up by the IP address of your virtual machine. Now. To get the IP address, head back to EC2 Management Console, go back one step, copy this IPv4 address, come back to your SSL terminal, paste in the address and then add a location tag. So type in the keyword location forward slash a couple of curly brackets and in here you want to use the command proxy underscore pass and then the name of the load balancer. So I'm going to call my load balancer as notes. But I cannot simply use the keyword nodes because I would have to use the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash nodes. Now I need to set this load balancer as well. So come to the top of the file, use the keyword upstream and then the name of the load balancer which is going to be nodes and then a couple of curly brackets. And in here you want to give the server addresses of all the backend server on which you're going to divide the load. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to create any backend servers or local hosted servers. Rather, I'm going to use a different port number of my virtual machine and then use a logger to display the load balancer in action. So use the keyword server and then you need to follow it up with a URL for the backend. But as I've told you, I'm going to simply put in the IP address of my virtual machine and add in the port number 8001. Similarly, I'm going to add two more lines with different port numbers. Now this basically sets up our load balancer, but as I've already mentioned that I need to create a logger to display the working of the load balancer. So come back inside the server tag and right before the location tag, you want to use the keyword access underscore log and then the path to the log file, which is forward slash var forward slash log forward slash engine x forward slash access dot log. And I'm going to give it a name, which is going to be upstream log. Now to specify what is going to be displayed to this particular file, I'm going to come back to the start of the file and I'm going to type in the following log format. 
So type in the name of the file which is going to be upstream log right after the keyword log format and then in single quotation marks I can specify the variables that are going to be displayed to the file. So in this first line we are simply printing out the address of the server on which this request was initially received and then the address of the server on which the request was passed to. And then in the second line we are simply printing out the response time it took for the request to complete. And lastly we are simply printing out the total request time. So now basically we are done with setting up our load balancer and the reverse proxy needed for the load balancer to work. So now we can simply hit Ctrl plus O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit the file. Now we need to check for the syntax of that configuration file and the command is sudo nginx space hyphen t. So it seems like I misspelled something so let me just quickly fix it. Rerun the syntax check and when it returns as successful, you can reload the nginx server by using the command sudo nginx space hyphen s and reload. Once that is done, you need to go back to your browser, copy the public IPv4 address, open it up in a new tab and send like 5 or 6 requests to this IP address. By the way, you won't get any output on the browser and that is because we have not set up an actual server on the backend. We just simply receiving requests and sending them to some fake or dummy servers. But before sending requests, we need to display the contents of our log file. So go back to the SSL terminal and type in the command sudo tail hyphen f and the path to the file which was where forward slash log forward slash nginx forward slash access dot log. So now I can proceed to sending requests to my server. After sending a couple of requests, I can go back to my SSH terminal and as you can see that we have received quite a few requests. So the request was initially received on this IP address and it was forwarded to this IP address. So if you notice the port number for the first request, it was 8001, then it changed to 8002, back to 8001, 8003, 8002, 8003 and so on. So basically we can conclude that our load balancer was working perfectly fine when it comes to dividing a request to multiple servers. So that brings us to the end of this video. And in case you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of Nginx load balancer and also for the step by step blog post guide available on our website. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.